dramatic scenes unfolding in the U.S., a must-cover event for a journalist. That the idea I showed them, and uh, apparently that wasn't enough for the New York police. His press pass failing to pass the test, this reporter got arrested while covering the Occupy Wall Street protests. No muss, no fuss. Officer uh, just put handcuffs on me, and I just uh, tried to tell him that I'm a journalist. Uh, he pulled out my State Department accreditation and asked whether I have a New York police one. Unfortunately, that one expired. Kirill writes for a daily Russian newspaper and has worked in the U.S. for the last three years. Whatever proof you have, they don't really care. That it's just, it's just business. And your credentials can't really protect you. Sent through a whirlpool-like legal system, the seasoned journalist was treated as a protest participant under arrest. 24 hours behind bars, a quickie trial, $600 in fines were his punishment for doing his job, covering the news of the day. And then there were the two days of community service. They uh, put you in a van, bring right over here to the sanitation station, give you brooms, trash cans and shovels, and you're basically walking around, sweeping the streets, picking up the debris, paper, cigarette butts, whatever. Kirill is now on probation for six months. It is an outrage in a country that professes to have a undying respect for the freedom of the press to be, you know, throwing, throwing reporters in jail. Okay, that's it, guys. Everyone got their shots. Let's go. But this case is not unique. Rather, it's part of a dangerous trend in the U.S. When you let the state control who is a journalist, that's just Propaganda. Tim Poole is an independent journalist who has witnessed police reject press passes on a state-by-state -state basis throughout Occupy Wall Street protests. In New York, they don't care even if you have a press pass. I've watched, I've watched a cop grab a journalist with his press pass, throw him to the ground. I've seen supervisors call out to grab a journalist's press pass and take it from him. I have DCPD press passes. Not anymore. In Oakland, they require a local Oakland press pass. Uh, in New York, they've been rejecting press passes from other jurisdictions. We have a First Amendment which guarantees the freedom of the press. I mean, there is no, nothing in the law which allows police agencies to determine which press are legitimate press and which are not. Acquiring a press pass has also been sending journalists through a vicious circle, not of just paperwork, but guessing games of which state they might be in next to cover a story, a near impossibility in the fast-paced world of news. You have to prove that you've covered breaking news, but it's hard to cover breaking news when the police won't let you. So it creates this catch-22, takes several months. Finally, if they like the news you're making, they'll let you get a pass. She's a Arbitrary or unattainable press passes demanded journalists arrested for covering the news, the constitutional concept of media freedom under siege. I think we're slowly coming uh, into a state of affairs where uh, shooting a video camera is a lot more dangerous to the establishment than shooting a gun. Choosing to view his arrest as an invaluable cultural experience, Kirill treats it with humor. I got two articles out of my experience, so it's, it's pretty good outcome for me. Freedom of the press in America, a first-hand account. Mr. Cherkina, RT, New York.